There are some stark differences between candidates in this weekend's election in Chile, leading the race to be the next president of far-right politician José Antonio Cast and left-wing former student leader Gabriel Boric. Among the other contenders are Sebastián Sichel, a former government minister, and Jasna Provoste, a centrist who is the leader of the Senate and the only woman running. I'm going to vote for Jasna Provost because she's an indigenous woman and I identify with her. José Luis Poblete is a professor at the University of Santiago. This weekend, he says he will cast his vote in favour of the leftist, Boric. They belong to the same generation of students. But he says he is wary of the polarised political landscape. Well, I'm voting for Gabriel Boric because I think he represents two things, you know, like this new blood of politicians, and that's something we really like to see in the country. And also the integration of new ideas, you know, especially regarding, you know, like climate change, you know, education and where the country is going to go in the next few years. But Chile is certainly divided in the run up to this vote. Since 2019, mass anti inequality protests have garnered widespread support. But in recent months, the movement has also bred opposition. Earlier this year, the public elected a largely left-wing assembly to rewrite its dictatorship-era constitution. But according to polls, the leading candidate is Cast, a supporter of the late dictator Augusto Pinochet. So this is the most unpredictable election since Pinochet left power 30 years ago, but also the most important since we have to decide between two completely different ideological projects. The veracity of polling data is often criticised in Chile. But surveys have repeatedly shown that progressive Boric has lost ground to cast in recent months. He is capitalising on public concerns about migration and security to push his right-wing agenda. If no candidate wins more than half of the votes, then the top two will face off in a second round next month to decide which way Chile's future will swing. John Bartlett, TRT World, Santiago.